Hi, my name is Barbara Tarwater. I'm a registered dental hygienist and assistant professor at Pensacola State College. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the field of dental hygiene. Let me tell you first what a dental hygienist is. A dental hygienist is a licensed health professional that focuses on preventing and treating oral disease in order to help protect the oral cavity, but also to protect the whole body. Um, things that a dental hygienist does in her daily um, routine or in her day um, she scales the teeth, takes radiographs. Um, there's a lot of new technology out there in radiographs or x-rays. You may um, remember it as x-rays. Um, they can um, take radiographs digitally now. It goes right onto the computer. It can be sent anywhere in the world. And they also do it on phosphor plates that scan through and scan onto a computer. And the same result, we can send it wherever needed. Um, they do fluoride varnishes and fluoride treatment to help protect the teeth from cavities and sensitivities. Um, <clears throat> they're actually periodontal therapists. They do um, deep cleanings on patients to um, help treat and prevent periodontal disease and keep patients from losing their teeth. So it's a really, really rewarding and important job. Dental hygienists graduate from an accredited two-year program. Um, and sometimes it takes, well a lot of times it takes three years with the prerequisites that are required before entry. There are some things that I think you need to know about the dental hygiene and entry into dental hygiene program. There are prerequisite classes that are required. An applicant may spend um, a year or if they're in dual enrollment in high school, spend a year um, taking classes in subject matters like algebra and speech, English, biology, chemistry, and anatomy and physiology. It's high in sciences. The dental hygiene program is very hands-on. Um, clinical experiences and patient care are learned in an active clinic with patients from local areas. Students complete their two-year program of education by taking a written national board exam and a practical state or regional board exams before practicing. But I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the core uh, classes that a dental hygienist is going to take. Um, we spend about the first six months educating you, getting you prepared to see patients. And we have instrument labs where the uh, instructor and, and the student are almost one-on-one -on -one teaching you to get your hands around those instruments and how to scale hardened deposits off teeth. We use mannequins at first and then we move you on to patient, um, uh, student patient partners and uh, we teach you about dental anatomy and how to chart and how to handle dental emergencies and medical emergencies. So it's really broad in spectrum the things that you're going to learn just preparing to get to your second term and uh, beginning to see patients. My advice to anyone considering going into the field of dental hygiene is to shadow a practicing dental hygienist. You've got to get into those operatories. You've got to see the patient care. You've got to see if you think you can handle something like that, um, being in an operatory with a patient and, and, and treating them many times on your own. Um, there's always a dentist there, but your practice is in your little operatory, and it's really important that you know that you can handle that. Make sure that this is a career for you before you start applying and that you're sure this is really what you want to do. Um, it's very time intensive, it's an intense program, and uh, you want to be very sure before you start that application process. My next really good piece of advice is to keep your grades up. The minimum um, acceptance grade point average is 2.75 at our college. Um, go to that college's admissions office, talk to counselors, um, get a plan for your application period, get a plan for the prerequisite courses that you're going to need to take so that you know when those are going to be complete and when you can actually be entering the program and how long it's going to take you to get there. Um, talk early to financial aid and make sure that you have the money that you're going to need before you start applying. Um, it's not an inexpensive program. Um, 
So many times you, you are going to need some financial aid or, or access to um, funds, scholarships, and, and you need to get that up front. Admission into the dental hygiene program is very competitive. Many people, many more people apply than get accepted. So you need to apply early. Um, we accept students on a first come, first application completion basis. So when your application is complete, the computer kicks you into a seat, into the class. And um, anyone that's up against you trying to get into the field, if they complete first, then they fill that seat. So it's really important. There's limited seating. You need to do it early and make plans for it. Dental hygiene is a wonderful career. Um, I've been a dental hygienist since I was 22 years old, and I love it, and I still love it, and I love teaching it. If this is your dream career, plan for it early and go make it happen.